अंग्रेजी में एक कहावत है आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इट इज इन द माउंटेन अहेड टू क्लाइंब दैट वियर्स यू आउट इट इज अ पेबल इन योर शू एक्चुअली सो इस कहावत का मतलब है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लाइम अज माउंटेन देन दैट हाइक इज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम बट इफ सपोज देर इज अ स्मॉल पेबल और स्टोन इन योर शू then probably that is going to be a bigger problem that is going to wear you out and injure you and not let you climb that mountain the same thing applies for that one subject that you do not like it could be audit for us it could be information technology eis for some students it could be taxation etc i have seen countless result mark sheets wherein the student have secured really good marks in all the subjects they have passed they have even scored exemptions they have even gotten the aggregate but in that one subject that they did not like they do not pass and just because they do not pass in that one subject then overall they have to give that entire group all over again so that one subject is what we are going to be discussing in this video for every student we don't always like all the subjects in our curriculum there is generally one subject or two subjects that we do not like and that one subject is a pain point for us it is a weakness for us we somehow just want to get 40 marks and somehow we just want to survive that subject now for that one subject you have to be very very careful if you neglect that subject then that subject can be a point where you lose out okay this happens with a lot of students so particularly for that one subject let's see what are the strategies now i do understand that you do not like these subjects and it's a pain point but still do not postpone these subjects many students i have seen they postponed studying these subjects they first did all the other subjects that they really liked they made those subjects very very strong and then they had some confidence and when they had that confidence they had to deal with this one difficult subject and when they took up this difficult subject it became a pain for them right and so they just ignored this subject they postponed this subject they didn't feel like studying it so they rather just revised and kept on revising the other subjects they did not give enough time to this one subject and that is what you do not have to do well see in this case you should first of all attack this one subject which is your weak point so if you have already given an exam in the past you already know which is that subject in your mark sheet you can clearly see that in particular one subject you have scored very less so for that one subject please sit down focus give it time indulge in that subject and make sure you understand all of those concepts try to do it first hand instead of doing all the other subjects make sure you do this subject what you can also do is maybe you can give one or two hours every single day to this one subject if you're not able to sit for long hours right simultaneously you can also couple this subject with an easy subject or an interesting subject for you right that will also do but don't ignore or postpone this one subject the second mistake that a lot of students do is that in these weak subjects these students only do the a category chapters okay or the b category chapters that's it okay they do not focus on all the b category chapters they leave out some topics they do not do the c category chapters sometimes these students they only do the exam papers they don't even open the books because they don't like the subjects they do not understand the subject then they just take up the compiler they just take up the question bank or the scanners and they do only those questions and they expect that based on that they are going to pass it is not sufficient if it was a college exam probably the strategy would have worked but this is a professional exam you're talking about ca and cs so here you got to clear out the base here you need to understand all the concepts you need to remember all the different provisions if possible you need to make notes and then after that the second step is to do all the exam papers to work on your presentation and writing skills right if you do the second step first and you miss out on the first step it is not going to help you in the examination so make sure you don't do this mistake the next mistake that a lot of students do in the subject that they do not like is that they go for self study if you have some confidence in the subject some interest in the subject some liking for the subject then self study is going to do wonders but if suppose that subject is absolutely bizarre for you you do not understand this subject you have no experience in that field and when you try to read that subject it becomes monotonous it goes on top of your head you do not understand it then it's advisable that you just take up coaching or tuition because with the help of the teacher first of all you will understand the concepts very nicely okay you do not have to do the hard work the teacher is going to teach you so the teacher is going to do the hard work and you will understand those concepts plus if let's say you're reading those concepts you have some doubts then you can just ask the teacher the teacher is going to help you clear those doubts versus when you do the self study then of course those doubts will be left pending third important thing is that the teacher is going to guide you as to how to pass this examination 
see for every single paper there is a certain set of skills that you should be having for example in law you should have presentation skills you should have analytical skills with respect to the provisions you should know how to interpret a provision right with respect to audit there is requirement that you remember the keywords that you write the paper nicely the presentation is important with practical subjects on the other hand you should be really fast in calculation and presenting with the working notes etc right so what is it that is required to pass that one paper the teacher is going to guide you because the teacher has experience so it's important that if you require then you take up coaching for that one subject don't take that subject lightly next important thing with respect to these subjects that you should remember is if you just put in the hours even if you don't like it then of course you're going to get better at it right it has always happened with me i remember that in 11th standard 12th standard i did not like cash flow statement the first time i read it it just did not make any sense to me then one day i decided that i am going to work it out so i spent hours and hours and hours i practiced a lot even though it did not make sense to me back then i wrote down every mistake that i made i wrote down all the possible adjustments i just figured a way out to solve those questions nicely matching those concepts right and i got better at it right that usually happens with everything in our life if you're not good at something if you give it more time more effort then you just get better at it you get smarter at it it's just the learning curve so if a subject is weak don't leave it for the last actually do it first and give it more time and effort you will automatically get better at it read the chapter thoroughly do the past exam questions do the study material questions try to make notes right if you make those notes then automatically you're doing one kind of a revision okay if you solve exam questions then with those exam questions you will identify where you're lacking it could be that your presentation is not good enough it could be that with the exam questions you just don't identify the concepts it could be that you're not able to remember the points the more you practice the better you are going to get at it but you got to be honest with yourself and you got to face the fear okay dar ke aage jeet hai right the same thing here so if you're scared of a subject then you got to face it head on that means that just sit down and do it give it more time and effort another study hack that you can use here is that you have to solve a lot of exam papers see because you don't like this subject it's better if you have all the knowledge about this subject right so that means all the different past exam papers sit down analyze them read every question see what kind of questions come in it how you have to answer it basically be extra smart about that one subject if your concepts are weak if your liking is not there in the subject at least you can compensate it by being a little smart about the subject okay so if you're able to somehow analyze the kind of questions that come right that is going to take extra time then based on that you can uh, modify your preparation so that you can sit in the exam and you can give a good performance right so study all the past exam papers write those past exam papers solve those past exam papers do some extra mocks writing practice it's going to definitely help you the final tip is take the help of mentors right now these mentors could be your teachers who have taught you it could be teachers of other subjects also it could be your seniors who have cleared the examination so you can ask them take help from them tell them your problem that i am having trouble in this one subject and this is why i'm having the trouble this is where i get stuck up and then they can help you because they have cleared the examination they can give you the tips and tricks that are going to help you now if you do not have anybody to talk to if you do not have live mentors then you can also search for strategies for that particular subject on youtube you're going to get plenty of videos with those videos you can try to figure out what is the problem and how to fix it and then sit down spend hours face your fear first of all this one pebble in your shoe remove it okay and then climbing that mountain of ca or cs that is going to become so much easier for you okay so that is it in this video i hope this video helps you it enlightens you it motivates you to focus on that one subject right and you clear your exam with flying colors now i am going to see you again in another video if you have any questions you have any requests write them down in the comment section below i'll see you again in another video bye take care